There is a high degree of concern about the lack of quality evidence and guidance supporting the use of add-ons offered to patients undergoing IVF procedures. Some critics have focused their concerns on the commercialization of private clinics, with a vested interest in selling expensive, unproven treatments to vulnerable patients. In response to the rising debate, UK Fertility Treatment Regulator, the HFEA, has introduced a traffic light system to help inform patients about which add-ons may cause harm and which may improve their chances of having a baby. However, of the 11 treatments currently covered by the system, six are marked red, suggesting no evidence of safety or effectiveness, five are amber, implying more research is required, and none are green, a status only given when enough evidence exists to show a treatment is safe and effective at improving live birth rates. Furthermore, while the quantity of evidence has grown in recent years, our social science research shows that IVF professionals face various challenges in producing good quality evidence. These may include non-standardised clinical practices and study reporting, wide variations in technical equipment and recruiting difficulties. More guidelines are needed to help standardise results, but this is not straightforward, as experts often disagreed on the importance of different types of evidence. For example, our research shows that some professionals believe the birth of a healthy baby is the only acceptable measure of success. But, as some add-ons are designed to help diagnose infertility problems rather than treat them, other professionals suggest that additional aspects, such as reducing time to pregnancy, are also worth considering. While acknowledging the complexity of evidence production, it is important for professionals to clarify what evidence is available to their patients and how this may affect their treatment and overall quality of care.